Well, since last night stuff is officially hitting the shelves this week slash today, let's look at movie one Barricade. The one character who seems to yet actually die in this franchise. Out of all the robots we've seen die and our hearts get ripped open and... Well, okay, some actually had their hearts ripped open, but... Anywho, <laughs> um, we're gonna take a at, we're gonna take a look at movie one barricade today, and I just picked this up at like I literally just picked this up this weekend at my local com uh, Comic Con convention, which I do I uh, wish you'll you which by now there should be a haul video up. It shouldn't be that long, but I will say this. I got to meet Johnny on Bosch. He got to sign my Transformers War for Cybertron game. Made me really happy, and I got to hug a Power Ranger. So, <laughs> um, so I uh, so there was a Toku slash Transformers booth there, and oddly enough, he had nothing Toku that went past Gaim, which me and my me and my friend Greg found surprisingly kind of uh, worrisome, but. First things first, now this one's going to be kind of odd. I wanted to review this this week, but <laughs> this is going to be kind of cool. When I first saw this in the uh, the in the, uh, in the the booth, uh, I couldn't find Frenzy in there, so and he wanted a 10. So I was like, okay, 10, for, 10 without Frenzy is actually not bad. But then when I got home, I realized Frenzy was in the bag, but someone painted him completely black. Uh, I don't know why, but... Yeah, uh, this frenzy is completely black. I don't know how they painted it, but, uh, they missed the pins? Like, the, I don't know if they scraped the, the paint off the pins or what. I'm going, I'm thinking what they did is they just took some spray paint to it. Or they hand painted it, because, I mean, there's no globbing whatsoever. Like, whoever painted this, like, did a good job. They did a really good even job on it. His head's a little bit loose, though. But, anywho. But he does kind of fit kind of weird. Like, you kind of have to wiggle it. Maybe it's just because it's been so long since I had a bar had a movie one barricade. Oh, the great purge of the of the early 2010s. I hate it so much. But, anywho. How do we transform this big guy? Well, i got to go back here to the back. And just pop everything apart. And while I'm, while I'm doing this... How was the convention? Well, the convention was really good. Uh, like I mentioned, got to see uh, jo uh, Johnny on Bosch. He was really cool. It was Johnny on Bosch, Jason Mewes from Jane Silent Bob, uh, uh, Aisha from Mighty Morphin was there too. I'm sorry, uh, it's Karen something. I'm so sorry if she ever finds this, but uh, I managed to get a hug out of her. It made me happy. Um, because at that point, I couldn't really spend any more any more money, or learn how to raise a tripod in pre-preparation. Uh, because this sucker gets wide. Uh, but I got a hug from her, and and I got to say thank you to all three of them for you know being part of my childhood and oh man that it, it was a good time actually. I uh, got to attend. Uh, Johnny, Johnny's, and both, pretty much all the panels that they had there, except for, there was one that was, like, based off of modding Nerf guns. But, oh, man. Had a blast. I really hope that stuff comes back to my town. Because if it if it does, I really need, need to get a Mighty Morphin poster and have them all sign it. But now I'm talking about Prime Minister during the Transformers uh, review. Uh, he signed my War for Cybertron game. So, now I just need to get Peter Cullen and the couple, the other main guys to... Sign it, and I would have Megatron, Starscream, Bumblebee, and Optimus. That is my thing right now. And there is Barricade, and he is one loose son of a gun. Like, no joke. The one I this the uh, the guy <laughs> he is loose. His legs are super super loose. Uh, he has got to be, uh, not the mold, but just the character in general, has to be one of my favorites from the first movie. Mostly because of, well, you got to think about it. He's a police car. 
Decepticon, they're meant to deceive. So, lowering, lowering your, uh, lowering your sense of security around a cop car, it makes sense. It really does, and uh, and I, I just, I just don't know what it is, but I really like this. Uh, I not this, his silhouette, and when it comes to the last night, I'm, I'm digging that a lot more, but. I want to see how he goes from that, from this to that, because even though he has the same name, and yes, even though he has the same alt mode, they look like two completely different characters. I'm like, I mean, the new guy has a whole wrist rock, a whole thing going on with his, the guns going across, or going around the whole arm, and he has brass knuckles that says protect and serve. Okay, um, but we might see him later this week. We don't know. But, uh, of course, he's from the movie line, so, of course, the movie line, he had to have some kind of gimmick other than Frenzy. Uh, so, he has a neat little, uh oh punching gimmick, which really doesn't, I can't really say it doesn't work, but it's a feature. Feature? <laughs> uh, yeah, his hips are, like... Not even trying like that. <laughs> that kind of loose to make my tripod even go. Yeah, it's kind of loose. There we go. Let me get a close up on his face there. Ah, oh, decent. Oh boy. No. There we go. Really, really good molding in the face, but of course, but of course, since since they're so de highly detailed, they can't really paint everything. So it's 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 enough to break everything up. So what about his posability? Well, he does have ball joints at the arm, so they can go all the way around. Kib uh, not even let the kibble get in the way. Uh, now let's see if we can try to get this to lock. Oh yeah, there's a way. <laughs> his hands are inside. You can see the molding there, and you ha can spread his fingers out a little bit. So at least on the inside, it looks like his fingers are spread, but on the outside, it just looks like that. I mean, the only down—not uh, the only downside. One of the downsides about this whole mold is that when you look at him from the side, he looks like he just has a whole pff, side of a car on it. On uh, just he has the his side is the side of the car basically, and I mean, I mean. Mm. But the uh, the Human Alliance mold does remedy this by breaking a lot of stuff up. And I do really... And that's another reason why the Human Alliance mold is such sought after. Because it's such a good mold, too. Uh, but... Oh, yeah. This one has a ratcheted elbow for some odd reason. Yeah. Don't know why. I just... Was, uh, oh, yeah. Let's look at the details in the karma. We never did that, did we? Uh, always love this. To punish and enslave. Police. Now, if I remember correctly, there's a year on here. I'm trying to remember there's a year on there. What's the year? 1865. Um, the year on the the year on that police badge is 1865, and I have no idea what that is a reference to. At least as of right now. Um, let's see. Legs are on a ball joint. Yes, they are, but they are, like, really loose. I need to take some floor polish to this guy really bad. Um, because, I mean, like, look at that. And his ankles are the same way. Um, uh, I mean, look at that. Look, 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 look. <laughs> um, six, four, three, please, 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 please. Let's see, he does have knees, kind of. Again, kind of. You know, movie one really loved... Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh! Okay, now I'm stupid. I didn't even know this did this. Even in the original mold, I did not... And not in my original mold. Even when I originally had this, I did not know it did this. <laughs> so you can get some good, cool poses out of him. When he wants to cooperate. <laughs> so you can definitely get something like that. Wiggle! <laughs> Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. 
Oh, uh, the, the slightly just shoot and film. <laughs> okay, I forgot to show this off too. Uh, the waist has these hooks, and you put them in the hooks, and, it's, and he tries to stay like this. Ooh, can you tell Jeremiah film this late at night? No. Uh oh. No. Okay. Come on. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Uh, okay. Focus for me, please. Thank you. Um, now, what can I say about this guy? Like I said, I'm a weakness for the guy in just in general. Um, I love the dynamic of Bumblebee versus Barricade ever since it first appeared on screen. The concept of an actual bad guy parading as an actual police car still intrigues me to this day, and I cannot wait to get my hands on the actual Barricade. As well as this, as a whole package... For him actually including Frenzy, which they didn't have to do. Oh god. He's not gonna make it. Uh, which they didn't have to do, and I'm sorry this one's all painted up. I didn't have time to really take the paint off of this. I just, I really wanted to get this out there. But, uh, I really say pick, uh, I would say pick it up. Uh, but the bad part is there are better barricade molds out there. Um, especially the Human Alliance, Whew. but I say if you, uh, if, if you can get him for cheap, because that frenzy makes this mold kind of expensive, um, most of the time this mold can go for in between 25 to 30, complete with that frenzy, and dirt cheap without it. Um, I say if you can find one, if you can find one at a, uh, that's it, do it exactly what I did, if you can find it cheap at a convention, pick it up. But don't pay the 30 bucks for it with, with the Frenzy, unless you really need it. <laughs> uh, and I really enjoy it. Well, anyway, anyway, guys, I cannot wait to start the last night's uh, last night reviews uh, starting later this week. And be sure to check them out. Be sure to check out Rare Views, which are now fu uh, fully kicking off. And another video series, which should be kicking off later this week as well. And be sure to check out the con, uh, the con hall video that will be, com be coming out around the same time this video does. Anyway, guys, I'll check you guys later.